Hello everyone, this is a guide to the Fish Flingers minigame. This minigame until the rework was quite abandoned, but this rework will hopefully make it more popular because it's actually quite a good minigame. So the point of Fish Flingers is to catch six different types of fish, all with the correct combination of fishing bait, fishing hooks, and the number of weights that you put on your fishing line. And it's a bit confusing to start out, but it gets pretty easy once you know what you're doing. So first off, I'm going to talk about how the scoring system works because I think that'll make it a bit easier for the rest of the round. So in order to get the best score there are a few different as aspects. First of all there are metals and metals are used for buying tackle boxes and there are four different types of metals that you can get per round. So first off the well actually first and second uh, off <laughs> you have to catch all the types of fish at 100% rating. If you catch all the types of fish with the exact correct combinations of fishing stuff you get a hundred percent rating on them and if you catch every one of every type of species at this amount you get a hundred percent rating on each of them and that gets you two medals so that's quite easy to do you should be able to get that every single round no problem the third medal is that eighty percent of all the fish you catch must be from the heaviest type of species i'll talk more about the heaviest type later uh, but just keep that in mind and then on average, the ratings from each catch of an individual species must be over 80%. Um, and this one can be a little bit tricky if you mess up on a fish and you get the wrong rating. That can be a bit tricky, but I'll talk more about that later. I just want to mention these basic requirements at the start. And besides medals, the other thing that can be awarded is fishing tokens. And fishing tokens are used to buy the fisherman's gear, and they're also required for the uh, tackle boxes as well. And the fishing tokens are given at a flat rate of one fishing token per four fish that you catch. And uh, it doesn't matter what type of fish you catch or what the rating is. You could just go into a fish flingers game to get these and just fish whatever you wanted at whatever rating. It doesn't matter. Uh, so just keep those in mind as we go along. So in order to start the game, there are a bunch of different places that you can go to get started. You just have to talk to the fishermen at any of these locations. The easiest one, in my opinion, to get to is the Catherby Beach. You just home tele and walk a little bit south. There are a ton of different ones that are close to teleports, but I'm not going to go into all of them. You can look in the description if you want to see all the locations. And you should be in World 89, and you should join the clan chat, not friends chat. You should join the clan chat fish flingers. And then just go to the fishermen, and the games begin every 20 minutes, and they last for 10 minutes, so just go to the fishermen and wait for the next game. And so once you teleport into the game, you should go talk to the fisherman in the western part of the fishlingers starting area, and ask him for a hint, and then you should say the hint in the friends chat, and that'll help people who are finding the correct combinations. Once you get a little bit of experience in fish flingers you can work on getting some of the correct combinations on on your own but just to start out i'm just giving the basics so that people can get into it you should yeah you should just give the hint and then uh say it in the friends chat it's a little bit confusing the format for it but just say pretty much what it says and people will know what you mean hopefully um and then once the game begins just uh, wait for people to give the correct combinations. I've got a picture of, on the screen here of all the locations. There are four different locations, the docks, the lake, the river, and the beach. And people will say different combinations, so it'll be like cod, beach, large, locust, four. And so that means it uses a large fishing hook, the fishing bait is a locust, and the four is the, the weights that you want. And so for the weights, the the weights, there are three different weights, and you can only use one of each at a time. Uh, so, like, you could use one small weight, one medium weight, one large weight, but you couldn't put in, like, two small weights. There's just not an option for that. So if you wanted the weight to be four, you'd use one small weight and one large weight, because the small weights are one, the medium weights are two, and the large weights are three. So you just have to add the multiple weights together to get the desired outcome, and then use the correct fishing bait and fishing hook that they recommend in the right spot. And that will allow you to get the 100% rating uh, on that type of fish. And so you want to catch one of each type of fish at 100% rating, and then you want to catch the heaviest fish. And they'll say in the French chat which type is the heaviest, but it'll always be one of the fish that has a weight ending with a number 9. There are going to be two fish that have weights ending with a number 9, and the heaviest fish will be one of them. So you want to have 
for the metals that I mentioned earlier, you want to have 80% of the fish that you catch total be from the heaviest type. So as soon as you know what the heaviest type of fish is, you should go fish from that one. And then once you have about a minute or two left in game, you should then go and finish off the rest of the fish once they've called out all the rest. That way you can get one of each type at 100% and then just fish the heaviest type. And now before I get too far ahead of myself, I should mention why I said to go catch the heaviest type of fish as soon as it's called. And that's because of this bar, which is new with this rework. And this is the depletion bar. I'm not exactly sure if that's the name, but that's pretty much what it means. It means that the more people fish from this spot and the more fish are caught, the, the higher the bar will go. And it'll keep making the fish catching slower and slower. So the earlier you get to the heavy fishing spot and the earlier you catch heavy fish, the more fish you'll get, and that's always better because the, you, you want to have 80% of the total catch, like 80% of all the fish you catch should be from the heaviest type, and it's a lot more difficult when you're catching them really slowly. So doing this will allow you to get all of the, all four medals every single round if you do it correctly, and it'll also allow you to get a decent number of fish. You'll get about 15 to 20 fishing tokens per round. So by the time you get the 500 medals required for the champion's taco box, you should have plenty of tokens left over in order to buy it, because it does cost a significant number of tokens. Uh, and if you don't have enough tokens, you can always just go into rounds and just fish whatever fish you want, and that'll give you tokens. At that point, the medals won't really matter, I guess. There's also another method that you can use to get extra fish per round, and that's called power casting, and that's where as soon as you catch a fish, you click on the cast button again, and that'll save a little bit of time. You'll get a few more fish per round, but it'll really add up over time, so I do recommend doing that. It's a little bit tricky to figure it out. Um, and then a couple more little things to mention. First off, there there's a new thing since they revamped fish flingers called big fish and you'll get those randomly and you'll need a couple people to click on them in order to reel them in and these will give you extra fishing experience i'm not sure how much because it's bugged at the moment and i don't get any fishing experience for it but i assume it's a little bit anyway but if you're just going for the tackle box rewards or the fishing gear you shouldn't bother with these and you should just press the clear line button and then uh, set your bait again and then click cast again and keep catching fish it's not worth catching these because they only give a little extra experience so that's pretty much it for that if you're interested in more information on the rewards i'll give a little summary here uh, but the link on the screen here is a link to another video that i made before i made this video actually that was talking about all the rewards so the rewards are the champion stack well there are actually uh, five different types of tackle boxes and they'll all hold some of your fishing gear as well as some raw fish and then there's also the fishing outfit which the full set gives 2.5 percent fishing experience bonus so yeah those are the rewards and if you click on the annotation here that'll give you more information about them as well so it's actually pretty decent rewards and the game itself gives pretty decent fishing experience so i highly recommend doing your two games a day it doesn't take all that long and hey it's a nice little way to get some fishing experience so i hope this guide has been helpful and if it has i'd appreciate a thumbs up and thank you for watching